Hello and welcome to Mastering Center 7 Linux video series. In this lesson, we will be looking into how you can implement your own DNS server. So, first of all, what is DNS? DNS is a domain name server. So, when we configure any network, we came across the DNS configuration as well. It is necessary to access any website or computer through a specific name. When we browse any website or computer name by their specific name, first it will search for DNS server as mentioned in your configuration, then it query DNS server to find IP address for specific website or computer name. In this lesson, we will configure DNS server for resolving name to IP and IP to name. For this, we will configure two zones. One is for forward and other one is for the reverse. We will be using Bind9 DNS server. It's an open source project for the DNS configuration and also it is widely used in the industry as well. So let's jump to the terminal. So first of all, we will install the required packages for the Bind9 DNS server. So the packages has been installed. We will look for the IP address of this CentOS machine. And that is. Now we will go to the DNS configuration file. We will change the IP here. And we will paste an IP address for of this CentOS machine with proper subnet mask also we will be changing here as well we need to make semicolon here as well so next we will be creating zones here I have already made the configuration so let's paste it here as you can see that we have created two zones. This is for the forward zone and this is for the reverse zone. And we will be naming our domain as testlab.local and the forward information will be stored in this file and the reverse zone information is stored in this file. So let's save it. Next, we will be creating a two files for forward and reverse lookup zone. So let's do that. As you can see that there are some fancy word here. So I will provide you a link that what are these terminologies used for and why they are necessary here. So main thing to know here that we have a name server called CentOS Salmon Test Lab dot local, and which is this CentOS machine. And also for the name server, we have provided an IP address here as well. And the host will also be this machine as well. So we have created a record for this as well. So let's save it. Now we will create file for the reverse zone. This is the configuration for the reverse lookup file. As you can see that we have included an IP here for our CentOS machine. And also we have defined a domain pointer record here as well for the name server. Next, I have mentioned an last octet of the IP address of this machine and created a pointer record for this CentOS machine. Now let's save it. Now we check the syntax of the forward and reverse lookup zone files. We will do that via name that check zone. As you can see that it's the output is okay. 
Now let's check for the reverse as well. So these both are fine. Now let's check the ownership of the warname folder. We need to change the ownership of all the files in this folder. Now let's check it again. As you can see, all the files have been changed in relation to their ownership. Now let's change the DNS entry of this machine. As you can see that we have made an entry here. Now let's start the service of the DNS server. Now that it's been started, we will look up for the testlab.local domain name. As you can see that it queries this server and Server address is 192.168.18.170, which is the IP address of this machine. And the query has been success and it gives us the IP address of, for this domain. So that's it for this lesson.